distinguish between proportional and non-proportional situations using a table. If there is not a constant rate of change in the data displayed in a table, then the table represents a nonlinear, non-proportional relationship. A linear relationship represented by a table is a proportional relationship when the quotient of each pair of numbers is constant. Otherwise, the linear relationship is non-proportional. Now here you can see they're giving us a table. We have U.S. dollars traded and yen traded. The values in the table represent the number of U.S. dollars three tourists traded for Japanese yen. So we have one tourist, two tourists, three tourists. The relationship is linear. Is the relationship proportional or non-proportional? Well, we'll find out by writing the y to x ratios. We have 254 for y and 2 for x. And we simplify each y to x ratio with division. We have 254 divided by 2 is equal to 127. Now we have 508 to 4. We divide and we get 127. Now we have 1016 to 8. We divide and we get 127. The ratio of yen received to dollars traded is constant at 127 Japanese yen per U.S. dollar. This is a proportional relationship. We can confirm that the values in the table have a linear relationship by comparing the change in Japanese yen to the change in dollars in each pair of numbers to the next. If you look, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And 254 times 2 is 508, and 508 times 2 is 1016. If the relationship is linear, the results should all be the same. We found that 1 U.S. dollar is equal to 127 Japanese yen, since 254 yen is equal to $2. We have 127 as our ratio, our rate of change. We can write an equation that we can use to represent the number of Japanese yen a tourist gets for a given amount of U.S. dollars. We're going to let y equal yen and d equal dollars. We have y is equal to 127d. Depending on the number of dollars we trade will tell us the number of yen we have. Now, since this equation has no y-intercept b, that means b is equal to zero. And it is a linear equation. So just like we did in the last couple of videos, we've got our proportional and non-proportional labels. It's telling us to determine whether the given tables are proportional or non-proportional and label each. We can write the y to x ratio to find out. Here we have 9 for y and 3 for x. That would be 9 thirds. Well, that's equal to a 3, isn't it? Here we have 35 sevenths. Well, that's equal to 5. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Here we have 44 elevenths. Well, that's equal to 4. Look, we have a 3, a 5, and then a 4. That is non-proportional because we don't have a constant rate of change. It went from 3 to 5 to 4. Now, if we look at this one, we have 15 fifths. Well, that's equal to 3. We have 27 ninths, well, that's equal to 3. And we have 36 twelfths, that's equal to 3. That is proportional. We have a constant rate of change, it's all 3. Now let's look at this one. We have 8 halves, well, that's equal to 4. We have 20 fifths, well, that's equal to 4. And we have 36 ninths, well, that's equal to 4. We have a constant rate of change, it's all 4. That's proportional. Here, we've got 8 over 1. Well, that's equal to 8. Here we have 36, 6. Well, that's equal to 6. This one's 8. That one's 6. Here we have 40 over 8. Well, that's equal to 5. So we don't have a constant rate of change. That's non-proportional. We write the y to x ratio to find out. 
when the quotient of y to x is constant, the linear relationship is proportional. We have 10 to 5, we have 40 to 20, and 90 to 45. They're all 2. They're all constant. We have 2, 2, and 2. When the quotient of y to x is not constant, the linear relationship is non-proportional. We have 15 halves. Well, that's equal to 7 and 5 tenths. We have 22 thirds. Well, that's equal to 7 and 3 tenths. And we have 29 fourths. That's equal to 7 and a fourth. These are not constant, so it's non-proportional. So we were showing how these were non-proportional because they're not constant. We have different numbers here, don't we? The equation for this relationship would be y is equal to 7x plus 1. So right away we can see, because we have this plus 1, the y-intercept b is a plus 1 and it's not 0, this equation represents a non-proportional relationship. If we put in 7 as our m value in this equation, we could multiply it by x to and add 1, and that would give us the 15, the y value. And if we multiplied 7 times 3 and added 1, we would get 22, the y value. And if we multiplied it by 4 and added 1, we would get 29, the y value. So because that y-intercept b is plus 1 and not 0, this equation represents a non-proportional relationship. Okay, we're finished with part C. We're moving on to the last part, comparing proportional and non-proportional situations. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.